Welcome to the next edition of Doja Tech, where we talk all things tech. Now, we're going to talk tech today, but unfortunately today, we're going to have to lay an old friend of ours to rest. We're talking about the iPod. So let's look at portable music. Let's look at the landscape. The first thing, if you want to listen to music portably, you can go out and buy a CD, uh, CD player, right? That's one way to go, about 15, 10 to 15 songs. Or you can buy a flash player, go out and buy one of those. You can buy a MP3 CD player, or you can buy a hard disk based jukebox player. And these are the four choices for portable music right now. So let's take a look at each one of those. A CD player costs about $75, holds 10 to 15 songs on a CD, that's about $5 a song. You can go buy a flash player, pay about double that, about $150, holds the same 10 to 15 songs, or about $10 a song. You can go buy an MP3 CD player, and an MP3 CD, uh, which you can burn on your computer, costs about $150, but holds 150 songs. So you get down to a dollar a song. Or you can go buy a hard drive jukebox player for about $300. It holds about 1,000 songs and costs about 30 cents a song. So we looked at this and studied all these, and that's where we want to be. That is where we want to be. And we are introducing a product today that takes us exactly there, and that product is called iPod. So this amazing little device holds a thousand songs, and it goes right in my pocket. Apple introduced the first generation iPod on October 23rd, 2001, with the slogan, 1,000 songs in your pocket. They went on sale on November 10th, 2001. The first iPod had an LCD liquid crystal display screen and featured a five gigabyte hard drive capable of storing 1,000 songs encoded using MP3 and was priced at $399. Amongst the iPod's innovations was its small size, achieved by using a 1.8 inch hard drive, whereas other HDD based competitors like Jukebox Player were using 2.5 inch hard drives. So the iPod mini, what's it look like? Well, this is the iPod and it's pretty small, but this is the mini it's even smaller, and it's pretty stunning. You can put up to 10,000 songs on an iPod, you can put 1,000 songs on the mini. It's easy to use navigation, which was controlled using a mechanical scroll wheel, unlike later iPods, which had touch-sensitive scroll wheels, a center select button, and four auxiliary buttons around the wheel. The iPod had a rated battery life of up to 10 hours. In 2014, Apple discontinued iPod Classic. Now, let's take a look at the iPod Mini, which was the second in the line of iPods. The iPod Mini was replaced by the Nano after just one year of being in circulation. The two generations of iPod Mini were almost identical in their external features, except for two noticeable differences. The first generation model had gray control symbols on the click wheel, while those on the second generation matched the color of the body, and the player's storage capacity was etched onto the back of the second generation's body. Their major functional differences lay in their storage capacity and battery life. Today, we're going to focus on the iPod Mini. Now, the iPod Mini is what all of our competitors have their sights focused on. Why? Well, it's obvious. Because the iPod Mini is the most popular MP3 player in the world. It's the most popular iPod, and that makes it the most popular MP3 player in the world. So that's the one everybody's focused on. Well, today, we're going to do something pretty bold. Today we're going to replace it. We're going to replace it with something new. Now let's go back to the beginning. 
because we started this all with a thousand songs in your pocket, right? We started it with the original iPod. And then we carried a thousand songs in your pocket over to the iPod mini. Well, now we're going to replace the iPod mini with a new player, an entirely new ground up design that also has a thousand songs in your pocket. And it's called the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano is the biggest revolution since the original iPod. A lot of people have worked so hard on this over the last many, many months. And it is my privilege to show it to you now. A thousand songs in your pocket, the iPod Nano. So, let's get a camera. I've got a pocket right here. Now this pocket's been the one that your iPod's gone in, traditionally. The iPod and the iPod mini fit great in there. You ever wonder what this pocket's for? <laughs> I've always wondered that. Well, now we know because this is the new iPod Nano. Now, moving right along to the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano had seven generations, seven different versions of the iPod Nano. The first generation model was introduced on September 7th, 2005 as a replacement for the iPod Mini. September 7th, 2005, Apple introduced the iPod Nano at a media event with Steve Jobs pointing to the small watch pocket in his jeans and asking, ever wonder what this pocket is for? Advertise and emphasize the iPod Nano's small size. On November 11th, 2011, Apple announced a recall of this model of iPod Nano. The recall was issued due to battery overheating issues. This recall applied to iPod Nano sold between September 2005 and December 2006. This little tiny thing. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. And, uh, and it comes in five different colors. And it sells for just $49. So, Moving further along, the iPod Shuffle. The iPod Shuffle had four generations, four different types of iPod Shuffle. The iPod Shuffle was discontinued by Apple on July 27, 2017, but it was released on January 11, 2005 during the Macworld Expo. The first generation iPod Shuffle was designed to be easily loaded with a selection of songs and to play them in sequential or random order. According to Apple, owners of the existing iPod had often left the music selection to shuffle and the new iPod Shuffle was a way of implementing that in a much more cost-effective way. Far from it. You know, when we introduced the iPhone in January, we said it was the best iPod ever. And iPhone owners agree with us. It's incredible with its multi-touch user interface, its incredible album artwork and video. It is the best iPod ever. And people have been asking us and wondering, when are we going to bring this technology to an iPod? Well, the answer to that question is we're going to do it today, and this is what the product looks like. It's called, it's called the iPod Touch. I happen to have one right here. It's just about the same size screen as the iPhone, but it's even thinner. It's eight millimeters thin. It's unbelievable. The new iPod Touch. We think it's, it's 
one of the seven wonders of the world. It's just incredible. And all of this history now brings us down to the iPod Touch. The iPod Touch was introduced in 2007. Some 100 million iPod Touch units were sold by May of 2013. The final generation of iPod Touch was released on May 28, 2019. It's the seventh, seventh generation model. The iPod Touch is the last product in the Apple's iPod product line after the discontinuation of the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle on July 27, 2017. And here's some fun facts if you didn't know. The fastest selling music player in history. That's crazy. The fastest selling music player in history. The name iPod, if you didn't know, the name was proposed by Vinny Chico. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe it's Chico, a freelance copywriter who was asked to figure out how to introduce this device to the public. He got his inspiration from the Stanley Kubrick's movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey, particularly from the phrase, open the pod bay door. That's where the name iPod comes from, people. More fun facts. Besides being known as the smallest model, the iPod Shuffle was also the cheapest one. This is because of the usage of the flash memory and the absence of a screen. Before Vinny Chico came up with the idea to call it iPod, the product was known by the code name E68. Due to the small number of sales of the Apple Newton, Apple wanted a mobile device. Therefore, they started to develop a personal media player, which would become the iPod. The iPod Supreme is considered to be the most expensive iPod Touch on the planet. It is covered with 149 grams of 22 karat gold. The outer section of the iPod has 300 diamonds and the main nav navigation button has 12 diamonds, which is surrounded by a single cut pink diamond of 2.1 carats. The device comes in a box made of white wood and it costs $233,000. That would be the most expensive music player probably in history. And with that being said, we say goodbye to an old friend, an icon, a partner. Rest in peace, iPod. You will never be forgotten. Check in with me again next time on Doja Tech. Next time, people.